Good morning everyone and welcome to Grade 8 Delhi Handcraft. So I am Sir Eugenio Magrimba or you can call me Sir Eugene. And for today I'm going to discuss a topic in handcraft which is recycling. Right? But before we discuss or before we see with our discussion with recycling, let's talk about first the objective of the lesson. So at the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to demonstrate an understanding and the principles and concept of recycling. And next, learners understand the concept and principles of recycling. And last is to create a recycled products or recycled project. So that's for our objectives. Then let's start our lesson with our first DVD. Our learning task one is let's sort. So here's the direction. Identify which item given below that can be recycled or just be thrown. Classify which is recyclable or a garbage. Okay, so the 10 items natin. Bottle, shoe gun, shoe box, magazine, paper, either newspapers, magazine, old projects, Candy wrapper, empty can, fried chicken, or dried leaves, and diapers. So we're going to classify which among those 10 items is considered as a recycled or that can be recycled or considered as a garbage that needed to be disposed. Okay? So for the smaller score, you can write your answer in separated sheet. And we're going to submit it along with other activities or outputs natin to our schools with designated schedules. And para naman sa iba, pwede naman tayong i-utilize. So you can utilize the comment section below. You can write your answer in the comment section below. And later on, we're going to check it. Okay. So... Let's have an example. Let's try this. So for recycled, so recycled items, and for the garbage, we have three. And for the recycled, recycled items is seven. So we have the bottle, we have the shoebox, we have the magazine, paper, candy wrapper, empty can and dried leaves and for the garbage which is considered as a waste now and can be disposed properly we have the chew gum we have the fried chicken and also the diapers okay so in your recycle and in your garbage okay so now let's have another task learning task 2 so here's the direction Look around at your home. Take note of a thing that are normally thrown away or disposed of after they had been used for their original purpose. Think of an article into which an item can be converted or recycled. So, ikot ikot muna sa bahay. Look for an item that can still be recycled after they have served or after they have or after you have used or extract the content of it that can still be recycled into another purpose then isip kayo kung article or yung recycled output niya or yung recycled project na pwede siya may produce into that item okay so gawin din natin itong form ito we have the item so ano yung mga nakita natin inside in our houses inside our room and for original purposes and for the last column is yung recycled possibilities or ito yung recycled project na pwede mo produce from, from doon sa item na nakita niya sa bahay okay so again para sa mga learning school you can write your answer in separated sheet and attach it along with um, submitted to our school along with the other outputs and activities 
natin para sa iba utilize natin ang comment section so you can write your answer below and later on we're going to check okay so let's have an example for our learning task 2 so tin canister so when you see tin canister ito yung example natin lata okay ano yung original purpose niya original purpose of tin canister is food container food container siya ng sardines argentina ligo paypay tuna or either del monte or yung mga pineapple chunks milk and yung main function yung yung main purpose ng tin canister natin then we have the recycling possibilities nag-indicate ako ng tatlong articles sa so pwede siya may produce so we have the pen and pencil organizers you can convert it into planters and also into a tin lantern so take note only one item you can convert it and recycle it into another item that can be still used in our home again lang yan in pen and pencil organizers planter and tin lantern tatlo na sa isa lang okay so instead na naging waste pa yung lata na yan or yung tin canister na yan na directly pupunta sa mga waste facilities natin or hindi siya na disposang maayos naging dagdag sa pollution lang so instead na maging ganun na introduce si recycling so recycling yung tin cancer natin na i-produce natin into another purposeful and useful item na pwede natin siya mapakinabangan which is your pen and pencil organizer planter or tin lantern Okay, so yun yung concept natin sa recycling. Converting one item or one waste product into another item that can still be useful. Okay, so next, proceed na tayo sa ating discussion. Kung meron kayong comments or we, meron kayong suggestions, questions, you can use the comment section below. Then later, babasahin ko yun. Then, now, let's proceed. What is recycling? So, when we say recycling, recycling is the process of transforming an item which has already served its original purpose but it is still durable into something that can still be used for another purpose. Recycling, take note, recycling is one of the one answer one key answer about our problem in waste disposal kasi isa sa mga problems natin beside kay COVID is mga waste products okay? so hindi siya na mamanish mayos nagiging basura, nagiging pollution turn out na apekto ang environment okay? so in to do si recycling for the purpose of conserving our environment. At the same time, nagiging profitable din to para sa atin kasi yung instead na basura, pwede natin siyang may produce into another item that can still be used for another purpose. Okay? So that is the concept of recycling. So in recycling, we have two types. Okay? We have types of recycling. So we have internal recycling and external recycling. So what is internal? What is external? What about difference in the robot? Okay, so proceed na tayo. So internal recycling involves the use of materials that are waste products coming from manufacturing process. Okay? So ito yung galing sa mga companies, manufacturing companies, factories na makapag-produce mga product at the same time, during the process na yun, may nipoproduce silang waste so instead na maging 
walkways na mapupunta sa landfill sa mga waste facilities natin nilisiting na lang nila yun into another products or for the same products same process nilisiting nila so let's have an example for their recycling so first sample natin o sample natin to ha is yung copper so in internal recycling sa mga industries na under ng copper na nagpubusas ang either copper wire copper tube or other copper products most of them produce a waste product coming from the copper okay so instead na hindi siya mapakinabangan may yung process nila yun para makapagproduce ulit ang product at the same time pwede rin natin consider yung mga nakukuha na waste product galing sa mga junk shop which is yung mga binibentang copper wire so may mga ibang industries may ibang mga companies na binibili yung product na yun para at least hindi siya maging dagdag na kalat dagdag na basura we will use it to convert into another product so during this, in this process or in recycling a copper wire we're going to melt it again along with the other coppers they gathered from the waste or either from the junk shop then melt it together then in a process to produce the products which is your copper tubes and copper wires and other copper products natin na alam. so that's is internal recycling for copper next let's have another example so ito sample na to is coming from the brewery industries ito yung sa mga kape so in order to extract the content or to extract the the copy o yung sa brewing process so para may extract yun ginigiling sya then gululuto so nakapagpudo sya ng mga waste products doon so during the sa process na yun once nakapagpudo sila ang tawag na natin dun sa waste product nila ay spent drains Okay, so sa spring cleans na yan, ito yung mga waste product coming from dun sa pag-extract ng mga content ng kape. Okay? Ito sa mga brewing industries. So sa yung brewing industries, nag-come up sila, nag-come up sila with an idea na pwede nilang ma-recycle, may reuse yung drinks na yan. So either pwede siya maging pataba or nutrients sa mga halaman sa atin then another best example para sa internal recycling ng spent things ay through cattle feeds so pinaprocess sya nagdaad ng mga nutrients, vitamins and mga supplements na pwede ihalo sa grains na pa kailangan para maging pagkain siya ang maging suitable na food para sa mga cattle natin or mga food para sa mga farm animals natin either goat, cow, carabao, or horses so yun yung pinapakain sa kanila okay? so that is the concept of internal recycling so when you see internal recycling waste product coming from the manufacturers recycle it to produce another product. So, yung main source ng recycling dito na involved is manufacturers. How about sa external recycling? So, when you see external recycling, it is the process of reclaiming of materials from a product that has been burned out. Nagamit na siya, napakinabangan na, na-consume na due to the constant use. Okay? So, example tayo. Newspapers. 
sino bang gumagamit ng newspaper? Siyempre, tayo. Once na updated na siya, okay, or na luma na, kung hindi newspapers either, other paper products such as magazines, such as um, old papers, band papers, old projects sa pinasa through school na binalik kasi na-checkan na, nata-record na. That's been considered as pwede na considered as a recycled product. So, instead na maging waste pa siya, gagamitin natin yung concept na external recycling. Which is, ipuproduce natin siya into another product. Okay? So, ito yung example natin. Ito mga paper. Pwede natin siya convert into paper bag and paper organizers either through for the pen pencils or other materials sa pwede ma-organize gamit yung paper organizers so that is the concept of external society so ang involved dito ay tayo person or individual okay so that's the internal and external society so next proceed na tayo sa advantage of recycling so the advantages of recycling first decrease the pollution and ease the garbage pollution next conserve resources and three number three natin, next is yung enhance creativity and resourcefulness four potential in making profitable business Sabi nga nila, there's an income in the waste. Sa Tagalog, meron tayong pera makukuha sa basura. Then five, makes pe people environmentally aware. And for six, promote scientific advancement in recyclable and biodegradable materials. And for seven, makes government and business owners choose a programs and apply policies in consideration of prevent preventing and preserving and respecting the environment so ayun yung advantages natin for recycling okay so now proceed na tayo so what are the common materials that can be used for recycling so ito yung mga materials na usually pwede natin makonvert and reuse or reproduce it to another useful product. Let's start with papers. Either magazine, newspapers, projects, examples natin, and paper products, newspaper, then recyclable articles natin. So we have beads, Okay. So, pwede siyang gamitin as beads para sa mga bracelets. Then, gift wrapper. Pwede siya maging basket. Sculpture or paper sculpture. Then, paper bags and paper mache. So, ayun yung para sa paper natin. Ayun yung examples natin. Para sa articles na napuproduce or products recycled products coming from paper the next we have plastic containers either plastic bottles plastic containers example na natin ng product yan containers plastic bottles so you say sa mga waste product number one waste product na ipotubo sa mga tao So, we have planter, we can use it for sculptures, plant tags or plant labels, and also organizers. So, that's for plastic. Next, we have glass bottles. So, for glass bottles, they yung either through soft drinks, other liquor beverages natin. <coughs> So, ito siya. Ito yung mga articles na pwede natin may produce. 
So we have planters. We can produce it into a chine. We can use it for aquarium. Take note, malilit lang na isda or small types of fishes, either betel fish or ba? Lang alam ko. Oh, pang malilit lang na isda or smaller type of fish. We can use it for flower base and terrariums. So that's for glass bottle. Next, we have fabrics or so fabric scrap. Yung mga tela natin, yung mga either na luma, scrap, extra mga tela, yung mga napunit na uh, damit. So, pwede natin siya ma-produce to another product or another item. Quilting, one example. Next, we can use them to make a rug or basahan. Which is usually ginagawa sa mga areas na malapit dito sa amin. Then, we have collage. You can use it to make a collage, either flowers, animals, or plants, or no one mga artistic design further. Then, you can use them to make for stop toys. So, that's for fabric scrap. Next is for yarn waste. So, here's an example for yarn. Ito naman is yung article or recycled products niya. We can produce yarn dal and string art na alam kong ginagawa in math subjects and yarn rugs okay so that's for our yarn waste next we have tin cans ito yung lata so, sample lang ako kanina na ito so medyo aware na tayo kung ano yung mga products na ito napoproduce from tin cans so sa lata so we have organizers we can use it for our planters lanterns and also for scrap art okay so that's for any of some uh, recyclable or common waste products so pwede natin may recycle okay so now proceed tayo sa next activity natin during task 3 so here's the direction list down the articles that can be possibly made from the following recyclable materials so given na yung recyclable materials all you have to do is to list down at least three three articles or recycled products or outcome no, recycled outcomes coming from dun sa mga materials na yun okay ito yung sample natin so we have fabric scrap three samples or three articles come from fabric scrap three articles come from glass bottles three articles coming from papers and three articles coming from plastic so again for my learners you can write your answer in separated sheet or separated answer sheet and just make sure into the school sa school natin along with other outputs and for the others you can write your answer in the comment section below then later on i'm going to check it okay and so now let's have an example so three samples of fabric scrap three samples of glass bottles three samples of papers and three samples of plastics either container plastic bottles okay here's an example so for fabric scrap we have rugs collage and quilting then for glass bottles we have planters we have the flower base and we have the chimes and for the paper either magazine newspapers or other paper waste product pwede na siya produce into paper mache beads para small bracelets and three baskets 
for plastic, either plastic containers or plastic bottles. We can produce uh, recycled products from plastic, such an example of planters, sculptures, and plant tags. So, examples of that. Okay. So, if you have comments, questions, or suggestions, utilize lang natin yung comment section below. Okay, so now, proceed na tayo. Okay, so now, we already discussed, or we are already done with the, or we already achieved the two goals or two objectives natin about sa lesson. We are done discussing the basic concept of principles of recycling. What is recycling? Types of recycling, which is internal and external. Advantages of recycling. Common waste products or common materials that can be used for recycling. And now, for our last areas or last objectives natin, ito na siya, which is yung produce and or create a recycled product or recycled project. So, meron ako rin itong dalawang video which is going to be part of your performance task. So, please makinig at panood to make it. You can also take note and later on, meron din naman akong add na link about dito sa video na to para mapanood siya directly. Okay? So, our first video is Paper Basket. Use the volume. Okay. Play. So, Paper Basket. So, first step. Prepare all the materials and tools needed in the task. Paper, newspapers, magazine, bowls, different sizes of containers. Then, scissors, take note. Safety reminders. Then, pen. Fold it into four, then cut, then skip your back process now, and you're next. Uh, Step 3, using your ink cartridge, i-roll natin yung paper na nakat. Para makapag-roll na tayo ng paper strip. So make as many as you can. So apply blue, then roll, then yun na. Then magic, maraming mga lot. The next step, using your empty containers, roll the strips. Then add glue, spread it properly, then roll. Make as many as you can. Then next, create another roll, paper roll, but this time we're going to use another or another cylindrical object which is much more larger compared to the ball pen. Same process, add glue, roll, then glue for the tip. Then remove. So that bigger ring or roll is going to serve as the base of the basket. Then using the, paint, the bowl as a mold, so yun na, add mo yung mga paper strips na roll natin. Sa center is yung pinakamalaki, then yung nasa paligid niya is yung mga malalit na paper strip ng roll niya. Then add glue, dip it sa object. Then to make sure na maayos ito kakadip it, add ng glue doon sa pinaka strips natin. Okay. Continue the same process, 
hanggang sa ma-fill out natin yung mold natin o yung bowl Make sure na napay yung glow na ayos. Bol sa kayo ng glow. Para once na pinagalit sa glow mold, matibay siya at maayos. Then for final na ano natin, create na yung base natin. So yan. So re-remove na siya sa pang sabon. Attach yung base. Then yun yung output. So yun, sample natin. Okay? Kung nagtataka kayo, ako yung gumawa nyo. Okay? So this is the final finished product, paper basket. Okay, next video. So, yun yung paper basket natin kanina. So, yun yung isa sa mga recycle project that we need to accomplish in order to achieve the last objective natin para sa lesson na to. And next is yung plastic base. So, plastic flower base. Okay, correction. Mali yung pagkakalagay ko. Instead na paper basket, dapat siya ay plastic base. Okay, so first step natin, prepare ng mga tools. And take note, gagamit ng cutter and scissor. So please, safety first. Gamitin na maayos. Then, using cut, cutter, cut your middle. Using the scissor, clean up the ring. Para smooth edge. Then, using yung... press and fold all strips outward. Then press downward. Then sixth step natin, weaving na to. So, yung step natin yan, under, okay, over, two, then under, two. So, yun yung process natin. So, continuously, Gagawin lang natin yung step 6, step 7, step 8 Hanggang sa makompleto natin yung weave natin Okay
has to strip same process but it will go under Ayan. then na yung sample natin ito yung sample natin ng plastic base plastic power base made from plastic or 1.5 plastic bottles ito sya and So that's all. So yung yung dalawa nating performance tasks na need natin ma-accomplish in order to achieve the objectives natin. Okay? So last E is yung scoring rubrics natin. So, sa scoring rubrics natin, meron tayo resourcefulness, durability, usability, neatness. So, for resourcefulness, so, prescribe yung mga materials and being creative, 30%. Durability, yung strength and yung stability ng object, dapat matibay siya. Kaya niya tumayo ng maayos. Then, kahit anong object na ilagay natin, matibay pa rin siya. Okay? So, that's the durability the usability can be used by anyone at home so hindi lang siya serve as for display kaya nga tayo nag-recycle for serve as another function or another purpose ng sa object na yun so hindi lang siya for display lang dapat mapapakinabaan the neatness simple yet carefully and tightly done so that malinis yung pagkakaglue malinis yung pagkakat then walang masyadong mga dust o kung ano mga contaminants dun sa project natin so yun yung total point natin that required is 100% okay so yun yung so that's all so thank you for listening and see you in my next video and take note if you have any comments or suggestions or questions you can use the comment section below then later to check ko yun pabasahin ko then magro reply ako okay so thank you and have a good day